Go Mandy, what do you feel? What do you feel, Bandy? Go Mandy, what do you feel? What do you feel, Bandy? I'll get back to you. What do you feel, Paolo? <laughs> <laughs> Take your time! <laughs> Take your time, Bandy! Don't tamba ko, get ready! Take your time! Go ahead, Paolo. Go Mandy, what do you feel? What do you feel about the third episode? No, I'm really, really excited. We got the third episode. I, yes. Right? <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm very excited because even though we are on our third episode, we're going to be talking about our first. Exactly. So the irony of it. Manny, how do you feel about this? I'm excited because I think it's the first and first episode of second episode. But look at us now, we're on our third episode. Aww. It's so cool. That's good. That's very, that's very nice. Thank you very much, Manny, for gracing our show. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so, in, in comparison to the first two episodes, we're going, we're going to talk about all about our first um, experiences, first heartbreaks. So, very, very light lang. So, wala tayong pag-uusapan na anything that has, has to do with social economics or yes. anything like that. Having said that, we're going to start with, I, I've asked my co-host to, to uh, show their first post, their IG post, and to talk something about it. So I'll, I'll start this because you said this is nothing political, but the <laughs> funny thing is like my first ever Instagram post is it's, actually political. <laughs> so. it, it is political. This is um, the picture of the Consul General. With uh, um, she like he passed away. It's Manlit Bular, Aww. so he's a he's a he's a very staunch supporter of the Filipino community. Oh, that's good. Uh, Manlit Bular is a really good friend of mine. He passed away. You know what's funny thing is he passed away helping another person Aww. on this on the road, right? Aww. But yeah, the, that is my very first post. It's how uh, long ago was this post, pal? Th this is back in 2014. That's good. Yeah, that was that was that was my very first post because I didn't really know how to use Instagram back then. So again, yeah. That's good. What about you, Mandy? Sa akin ng first post ko nun, there was this was like 2012. Sa Singapore to kasi ting unang unang country na pinuntahan ko for work. I was 20 years old then. Super bata pa, kakagraduate ko lang ng college. Fresh Kaya, pa Fresh pa. This was like 20 years. <laughs> Wala pa ang hasa. Kaya Bakit na, fresh ka naman siya? <laughs> Kaya ang nangyari. So fresh. <laughs> Ako, I'm gonna talk about this post. Um, this is the backyard of the very first house that I rented when I first came in Canada. Uh, this is in 2012, October 7. Um, it's a celebration of the first Thanksgiving. Oh. Yeah, that's my very first ever Canadian Thanksgiving. And uh, these are the type of things that we're going to talk about with our guests. And when we come back, we're going to introduce them. See you in a bit. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Uh, now we're joined by Rian and Leanne. Yay. Yay. You know who this um, Leanne's... Uh... Um, Instagram Hello. handle is Rad Daddy. Rad Daddy. <laughs> oh, why is that? Um, because I'm a good father figure to my friends' kids. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, you might as well share your handle, Rian. What's your handle? Must have Facebook. My Instagram. Uh -oh. No, just Rian Stella. Uh, Rian Stella. I only have one post right now because. I decided to delete all my posts because okay. social media can be toxic sometimes. Right. Oh, oh, right. We're not going to talk about toxic right now. It's just, just going to be Yeah, fun. we need to <laughs> 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 well, Perfect. Uh, having said that, we're going to talk about positive energy, as Rian had said. Um, very, very light lang yung pag-uusapan natin. Who's your, uh, how was your first crush experience? Uh, you know, first crush to First crush! First crush! First crush! First crush! First crush! First crush! Oh my god! Very, very slamok tayo, diba? My first crush is, I was young, right? I was like, transition from male to female. Right. So. I don't know, I forgot my first crush, I'm sorry. But... I forgot about you. <laughs> Let's guess, please! <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but
But during my transition, I had a first crush. Okay. okay. And it was my teacher. Oh. Wow. wow. Is yeah. that okay? Is it? No, in, in, in Philippines. the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, and a subject. Math. That's why I'm good in math. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm inspired. <laughs> what about Leanne? Uh, you know what I was thinking? I think it was Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon. <laughs> 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 I, thought, I thought of a guy and then I was like, oh, also Aaron Carter? I, I think that's how I knew I wasn't straight. Was Aaron 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 Carter? Carter? I remember Aaron Carter. Who's, who's, who's Aaron Carter? The one who oh, sounds... Oh, yeah. I've got a crush on you! Yeah! yeah. 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 Crush, crush on you. Oh yeah, yeah. So, Honey, your first crush. I mean, first experience, mo. My first crush, cause she was. Uh, her name was Michelle. Oh hi, Michelle. She's watching right now, cause I texted her not to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were in like fifth grade, no. And tas naging girlfriend ko siya, she yung first girlfriend ko. And last na rin, bago ako naging babae. <laughs> so your first crush was a girl? Yeah! Oh, and then like we ended up na meron ka parang papi love. Kasi nung mga panahon na yung papi papi love bro na, di ba? Right. <laughs> But may yan kasi. Are you okay? Memories <laughs> <laughs> bring back. Bakit ako horse yung boy? <laughs> 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 so, Ayun na nalala mo yung first crush. Bumabalik si Randy Ruben. Paolo, what about you? My first crush is also celebrity. So the first crush ko talaga si Dean Cain. Oh, Chloe is in Clark. It was yeah. a it was oh. a series. Chloe right. and Clark Superman. So the girl should have shirt Oh my god. Oh wow. And I was in I was on I was in grade five. Oh okay. So, like, na, na ano yung aking sexuality when I saw Superman coming out. Like, <laughs> 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 How about you, Liz? Who's your first crush? Your first crush ko is actually Nick Carter. Why? Oh, Bakapa. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, 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 Uh, Casper. Oh. So Devon Sawa was my very first crush. Oh. Oh. Next na tayo, medyo risky na. First kiss. First kiss. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Tell about your first kiss. I'm a little scared. Not a lot of people know this one. <laughs> It's all up to you. You can, you can, you, like, pwede mong hindi sagutin or pwede ka na umali. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mia! <laughs> <Leah. laughs> <Bye. laughs> yeah. um, my, my first kiss was, um, so there was like, a girl living in my my parents' house. Like, they, they just stayed with us for a little bit. But her mom, when she okay, went So how work, old were you then? I think we're in, I was in grade three. Oh my god! I think you're like three. nine years old. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> she, she was my first kiss. Makati ka na nun pa kaya. Makati, Minsan City, Minsan Siliyan. Ah, my family's from Manila. Oh, yeah, Manila. From Manila. So, you, so that was your first. So, oh, just okay. smack lang yun. Ria, yeah. Okay, my first kiss was I was 20 years old. Oh my god, recently lang, lang. Happy birthday, ah! Yes, yes, yes. Speaking of birthday, it was my birthday. Oh. And I was so curious, like, what happened? <laughs> No, because back home, I, I live in a conservative family, so yeah. I don't know where to start. So mm. when I moved here, and it was my birthday, and I was so conscious that like, what it feels like yeah. on your first time. Yeah. So I downloaded Tinder, and I met a guy, and then that was my first time. So, where is it Tinder? What's Tinder? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Mandalay, Tinder is a, an app, like a dating app. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It's an I, online I, dating and app. And I know that you're single. Maybe download Tinder. <laughs> I might consider that. Yeah, you should. I highly recommend it because I found my true love there. Oh, oh my god! Yes, speaking yeah. of true love, please. First kiss. <laughs> And what was my question? Your man? first kiss. <laughs> Who was your first kiss? My first kiss. Um, oh my god, this was high school, I think. And my parents does not know about this. Kasi parang kapitbahay yata namin yun. So tatanungin ako ngayon ng nanay ko, sino sa kapitbahay natin? <laughs> si Ma'am Dario. <laughs> how, how old were you? I was, uh, I think I was 15. Or you were 15. 15, 15 14. And yeah. how old is the guy? Uh, about the same age, yeah. Uh, he's from another school. Uh, tapos ay, he always 
goes to the to the school to pick up his girlfriend and then they they eventually broke up and then maybe because he sees me around parang we so started abang ka niya abang ka niya abang ka niya so ganon abang but he was he was not he, he didn't become my uh, my jowa at that time it's segueing to that so yung first relationship was it how was it was it uh, smooth uh, how the did it go the first relationship are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> you know what? My first relationship was also my first kiss. Wow! Yes. How old are you? I was 18. Oh, oh my god, that was like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that Ages was 19 ago. years ago. Oh, that's oh, one. That's one. That's one. That's one. I wasn't born yet. You were not. Yeah. You were a fetus. Paolo, what do you know? No, I, I, it was it was such a bad experience though for Why? me. It was such a bad experience because everything was forced. The relationship? Oh. Everything. What Why? do you mean like forced? Like are you forced? Like you're not really clicking. Open you know by force or not close? No, it was really forced. Like, you need to get all the time. So the the kiss was awkward. Oh. The relationship was. See, you were, even, what, what, how old were you on? I was eighteen. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. So so it was it was really awkward for me because I didn't know. In fact, I hope you figure out if I know kung gusto ko ba ng hindi ko pa pin figure kung lalaki ba ba. But I was still hiding in the closet, so right. Mejo mahirap. So it was really awkward for me. Leanne, what about you? My first relationship. Ah. It was short lived. Uh, How long is short lived? Oh, uh, like two I think, hours. I think like two weeks. <laughs> oh, two, <laughs> yeah. two weeks. Yeah, I, th I, you know, I really resonate with what you said. It, it's, it felt forced. I think yeah. that, especially when you're trying to figure out your sexuality, it's, right. it's difficult to right. not to try and you know jump at the first opportunity to to really right. be yourself, mm -hmm. uh, right. even if that person doesn't quite fit you. Yeah, <laughs> not so, because like you know, like you're exploring, like mm -hmm. you know, you don't even you're not even thinking if this is the right person or is the wrong. Person. Right. It's just like kiss is a kiss. Right, right, you right. Mm -hmm. no, good night. You, what about you? First relationship? Well, I've been through a relationship that's not that serious, but this one I'm dating right now is a serious one. It was two years ago. So you've been dating for two so years? So yeah. this is your first And this is your first? Yeah, my first serious relationship. Like, I really invested it. Like, yeah. Mandi habul habul is a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, say, when you say serious relationship, yung mga nakaraan, how you consider it? Why it feels like we're still young for having a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're still like discovering, especially they're dating a trans woman. So yeah. it's not finalized yet. Like I don't know what's the outcome. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why I call it like it's not serious. But right. this one is more serious because he he used uh, he get to know me and then. Um, I met his family already, and then they know. Oh, that's that's not serious, though. When you when, yeah, when you meet the family, it's kind of like serious. I know. Man. The moment that you meet the family, yes. And then he he invited me to meet his grandparents. That's his mom's side. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, I met all the grandparents, and then the the farm was one hour drive. Their farm is a one hour drive. So my future is. Puchu-puchu lang, like, Flirt lang. Like, 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 like oh, Ian said. So, Flirt yung lang. very first relationship ko was with a guy, he, may he rest in peace, he actually passed away na. I was 16, I think, or, no, six, between 16 to 18 years old. Um, that was my first relationship. It was okay. Um, I was heartbroken. I felt like it was, uh, it was my first real heart. Right. Who uh, broke up with who? Um, we didn't actually have a, a breakup. So yung yung time na yun, I didn't know that there was such such thing as ghosting. I only just Ay, realized. Ba, okay, like, hindi pa, 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 So parang we we just started not 
talking to each other. When and where? Ah, uh, sa tondo. Nagkatulawa. Nalang kasi pa siya. I love that. And how? <laughs> so that was it. So that was he was uh, he was my first uh, parang feeling ko serious relationship, and he was actually my first heartbreak. Then, but the heartbreak was. Alam niyo yung hindi mo sure na heartbreak ba siya? Or am I really going through this? Because you don't know. You didn't break up. Yeah. So it just it just faded away. Yes. So that was that that was the first. Maybe because you were too young. Maybe because I was too young. Sixteen. Because I feel like it's too young. Yeah, sixteen oh. to eighteen around that time. So heartbreak. Actually, the segue. <laughs> our segue is heartbreak. So, so, <laughs> what was your? So what? What? How was your? I know heartbreak. Na my first experience. First heartbreak. So the moon. Me. Okay. <laughs> With my boyfriend right now, like we had a break, like. Last year, pull off, like pull off, guys. Right? It's like um, yeah, it's something like pull off, like total <laughs> break. I don't know how to explain, but I learned from it. It was hurt because I was so immature at the time. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was my first relationship. You know the the reason why we broke up because I all I'm always late, like a Filipino. You're guy. always late for. Is like, that it? Like you broke up because you're always late. Isn't that yeah? Because I don't. No, it's a valid reason because I don't drive. And then my my home is like thirty minutes drive from his place. So every time he came over, and then I'm always late because it's Filipino time. <laughs> I, I know that the I famous that. Filipino time. Yeah, but, so he got but tired. he realized he got tired. So he realized like he still loved me, and that's that's yeah. a reason to. Oh, so this is Brock. Me. Yeah, this so is. So Brock, Brock, you were together, and then you broke up. Yeah. I was oh. immature at the time. It's Jenny from the Brock. <laughs> yeah, but because then, of time management. Maybe. Yeah, and then what could have done better? <laughs> <laughs> but then, but when we get back together, he asked me to get back with him, and then okay, I learned from the lesson. And then now I'm the most punctual. <laughs> 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 He was really she was really punctual now. Yeah, now so he's the most time. punctual now. But he said here I'm out already. So uh, yeah. our love getting strong. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't really call it so, breakup. So first yeah. relationship or first breakup, my Yes, first relationship, first breakup. Oh, and then wow. uh, my friend was there too. Good thing Mal is with me that time. Oh. Oh. Ria, what about you? Uh, my first heartbreak. I was in I was in high school when I had my first heartbreak, and oh, it was sweet. it was unrequited love. So it was so. Sorry, it was again. <laughs> unrequited love, like <laughs> it, it wasn't reciprocated. Oh, oh I, yeah, I, I really, it, it was one way. Yeah, but I I do feel like me and that person love each other. We're we're still we're still good friends now. Yeah. Um, but at the time, it was it was so difficult. I think to realize that you can really love someone wholeheartedly so purely yeah. but it doesn't mean that they love you in that same way that's oh, right. that's but how, how, you know, how old were you back then oh i was 16. uh yeah, yeah i honestly Still you, young. yeah when, you, when, when you're in that age you, you're trying to figure out what mm. really love is yes, you know, yeah. right so yeah. like when you don't get the same amount of love that you're because you can't really quantify it. You're right, right. You can't really and then you self pity. Oh, oh, tama, tama. And then yeah. you question your choices. Yeah. yeah. And you're trying to figure yourself out, right, when you're a teenager. And I think one of the most important lessons from that first heartbreak I learned was you can love you can love people they don't they are not required to love you back yeah. uh, and they can love you in a different way even if it doesn't match what you feel yeah, right. yeah. yeah. it's and called it unconditional love yeah, yeah. so I, I learned about unconditional love when it's i was 16. Oh. honestly now i look back and thank god she rejected me yeah uh, we're, uh, we're not a fan yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 sometimes yeah. Reje rejection is redirection What was your first heartbreak? Like, honestly, hindi pa ako nakakaroon ng boyfriend. I'm like NDSB. I don't know if you know NDSB. No boyfriend, like, no boyfriend since birth. birth. Kasi hindi mo naman, uh, para sa akin kasi, hindi naman kailangan maging kayo para masabi mong official na nagkaroon ka ng heartbreak. Right. Yeah. Diba? Yes. I was heartbroken when I was like 2015. When I was like, 2015, I was like, Heartbroken kasi there was a guy na talaga I fell in love with. And then like, isa siya sa mga reasons kung bakit ako nag-undergo ng sex change. And then like, when, I, when I came back here in Canada, sinabi niya sa akin na tapos na lahat kung ano man yung meron kami. So parang nasaktan ako. Nasaktan talaga ako kasi like, 
I gave, I, gave, I gave everything tapos nag-end up kami na wala na parang ang sakit. Oh, so, natakot na lang. Natakot na yung na lang. mga sacrifices mo. Oh, oh. So did you Sorry. you get this since this is your rejection? This is the first rejection. So that's my second, my next question. That's actually the seventh. The seventh. Oh, yes, so, right. so, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, kasi my question is yung first rejection. So is that what is that your first rejection? Ever? The first heartbreak no seven. Sa love ba o sa trabaho? Sa love. Kung sa love ang first rejection ko Nung nasa Singapore ako, like I fell in love with my coworker. So your first heartbreak is not necessarily your, your first, first rejection. rejection. No, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you you tell the person that you love the person or you like the person and then you got rejected. Yeah. Meron naman na you you tell the person that you like them and then you eventually be- friends. Uh, and then you and also and then you became uh, you were in oh, a relationship, yeah. right? But your rejection is when you when you tell the person that I really like you. How do, do you yeah. want? Do you like me too? Can we hang out? And then they said no. They na friend zone car, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, Shout out to oh, the oh, friend zone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank Sabi ko si Malia. Lahat ang gusto mo ni Mandy. Oo, oh, naging end up friend. naging best friend ko sila. Ikaw, Les, ano mo, ano mo? First Thank heartbreak na siya. First heartbreak, no. First rejection. Wala naman akong rejection kasi being as a, as a, as a girl. Ah, gina yun. As a girl. Wow. Lahat ang secret. Lahat accept. Kasi as a, as a young girl, charot. Hindi kasi, di ba, sa Filipino setting, women are actually being approached. Yeah. So you get to, you get to reject. You get to say no. Di ba? I've never been, I've never been really out there telling people na, I like you, well, let's hang out, you know. So, yeah. I, the rejection in a relationship, I have not experienced. Heartbroken, yes, I was. Many, many times. But the rejection of, of just getting to know somebody because yeah. you like that somebody, I've never experienced that. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, I uh, know, we're gonna uh, uh, deepen the conversation just a little bit lang naman. Um, the very first time you felt discriminated. Let's start with you, Leah. Uh-huh. Um, you know what, the very first time I felt discriminated, I, I'm actually a social worker, so that's oh, my oh, job. Oh. Yeah, um, and I think that, you know, I think just existing as a Filipino queer woman in in Calgary, yeah, in <laughs> Calgary it, most especially. Definitely. I can't really pinpoint a specific time because, you know, I think about my upbringing here. I think about, you know, the kids I went to school with or even as a teenager, I, I, at every turn I face discrimination, right? Even, even as an adult today, mm-hmm. work, working in a very, um, I, would, I would classify it as a very uh, white profession. Right. Uh, you know, I'm one of very few Filipino social workers social. Who, are, who are present and there's representation. Mm-hmm. And I think even then you start to see that discrimination is a lot more a part of our day to day as, as right. you know Filipinos and, even being here in Canada. Yeah, and, and discrimination actually is more I think now it's more prevalent because of your um, cultural background mm-hmm. more than your gender. Yeah. I, I, I think mm-hmm. I don't know. That that is just my perception. You know, it's even thinking about things like I grew up here in Canada but I often have to you know, I I'm not um, I'm not Canadian enough for Canadians, yeah. but I'm not sometimes Filipino, Filipino enough, enough for, for Filipino. Filipinos. That's right. right. And I think that those are there's so many different intersections of discrimination that we face in our day to day. So I, I really can't pick only one. No, for sure. No, yeah, for sure. I agree. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. What about you, Rian? Just one significant one. If you can pinpoint one, like yeah. one significant that you can remember. Um, luckily with me, like I've never had experience like a bad discrimination. When in the Philippines back home, my dad like looks like a, a big guy, so uh, people are scared, scared to bully me. Uh, so, and then and also like I'm ni pa ko nag ano na nagladlad na magla ako so uh, pero nagikita ko na ano ng mga yari sa kanila so tinatago ko lang uh-huh. so luckily when I opened up to my parents, they got accept- accepted me because this is a story. We're three brothers. I'm the eldest, mm-hmm. and then my parents are planning to have another baby girl. Okay. Yeah. So I volunteered. I told them. <laughs> 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 I want to be a tribute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told my parents, like, I volunteer. Go, mother. Go to Canada. Uh-huh. So I volunteer as a woman. So they got their wish. Yeah, they got their wish. And very supportive with them. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, yeah. 18 years old, I'm also being adopted. Oh. oh. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. So, luckily, like not 
everyone. Yes. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel blessed. So. Yeah. That's well, great. Did you experience any discrimination? I, we, well, it? the most significant one I can I remember. And I probably this is the first. Um, and I'm, this is going to be an unpopular uh, opinion or a topic. This was at um, at uh, at the church. So I, I uh, Carla and I, we went to a church together. So at that time, we needed spiritual guidance. We always go to this church. Um, I think at that time we went every day. So there was one time na Carla and I went, and it was just the two of us, palang. And so we went inside. The, so so sabi ni sabi ni mother ng nan, okay, come in, come in. It's not open yet for the public, but because they know of us na, so they they open it for for us. The sabi niya, and then when we came in, sabi niya sa akin na. Um, are you guys uh, are you guys uh, sisters? Sabi niya sa amin. So are you are you sisters? The sabi ko, uh, no, we're not. We're not sisters. Sabi ko, we're we're friends. Tapos sabi niya, good friends, I hope. Sabi niya sa akin. Tapos parang parang it kinda, uh, I, I thought of it na parang what does she mean? Like and then I asked okay. and because I asked, so nakuha ko yung sagot ko. Kasalanan ko din kasi oh nagtanong pa ako. <laughs> nagtanong pa kasi. So I asked, sabi ko, no, sister, what do you mean by is there a bad is there bad friends? Sabi ko kay sister, oh you know the lesbian ones, they're pretending to be friends. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I felt really bad. It felt like there's a pail of cold water thrown at me. I my hands were shaking, my 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 nerves were shaking, my hands were cold. And then the whole time when I was inside the, the church, um Parang ako, parang bini-burn na ako the whole time. I felt like I was being burned. You know, you the, the, the irony of it, Liz, is that you went to church to find solace and peace. Exactly. And to find that comfort. But then, you ended up, you ended up getting, you know, like, humiliated. burned. Yeah, so I felt like, I felt burned. I was, actually, after after that incident, um, so we, we, Drove by. We 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 finished the church. No, we finished the mass or the mass or whatever. But uh, when we were driving, as soon as Carla Carla hits the, I know that we went as soon as, soon as she drives, I was bawling. I was crying so hard, and I was telling her that, bakit bakit masama ba may masama ba ako? Yeah. But but is this is this a sin? Am I really sinful? Am I gonna be burned in hell? Because you love. Because mm -hmm. because I love and the fact that I came to to this place because I'm I'm practicing it. I'm practicing the Catholicism. Why am I why am I judged? So at the after that after that incident, Carla would still go to that church, but I would remain in the car. I would pray outside. I was I was strong I was falling I was falling I was falling pow and um to, to this day whenever I remember that um it, it gives me chills like my hands are really cold it 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 gives it gets me emotional yeah. but Liz if, if you can find comfort I think the church itself is evolving too I think it is evolving in, right. in every aspect mm -hmm. maybe not as fast as we want it to be yeah but I I think there's some strides there there's some uh, difference but, there. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Mandy? Oh, naman, napakarami, a lot, a lot. The first discrimination I had experience was when I was a kid. At hindi to sa ibang tao ng gale. Sa family ko mismo, sure. like my tito, my tito, like my tito told me la, wala kang mararating sa buhay, ang mga bakla, salot sa lipunan, so lahat ng mga masasakit na salita narinig ko mula sa tito ko. Uh, so yun yung naging starting point ko na I have to work hard not only for myself, syempre for my family. Tapos nandun na rin yung urge ko na kailangan kong i-prove na walang masama sa pagiging bakla. Yeah. Kung di ka gagawa ng sarili mong ikasasama. But, but I, I think like my story is the same. It's like discrimination with your family. Like when you're young, your family makes fun of you. You know, yeah. like your relatives, not your immediate family, but yeah. your your um yeah, your relatives all make fun of you just because you're a sissy boy. Yes. Uh, you know, that that's how I felt all the time. Conting Kembot, ay bakla, 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 you know. And, and it, it felt really it, you're ashamed all the time. Uh -huh. Like, you know, even if you trying to figure out who you are uh -huh. and trying to be proud of who you are, you always go back to the closet. Like, can I get over to the closet? Uh -huh. Because, lagi kinalang in embarrassing. Right, right. So, right. Sa akin yun yung 
first discrimination within the family ba? Mm-hmm. Wow. I love that. <laughs> Pero si Rian, you don't have that experience. So, kasi the family unit, your family unit is very accepting. Yeah, even my relatives, they're accepting. Maybe That's it depends good. where you grew up. How about your family? Yeah. Right. Your family was, were, were they <clears throat> really quick and like turning around and saying, oh, no, I, honestly, I really resonate what you were saying about the church because I also grew up in the church and mm-hmm. and for my family it was really hard because we are Catholic and mm-hmm. so um, I remember I actually came out when I was 60 and I told my friends that I'm a lesbian mm-hmm. and I was okay with that but one thing I knew is that I couldn't be honest with my family and one of the one of the trade-offs I had was well to make it feel more real I have to wait until I have my first girlfriend so that I can face them mm-hmm. and, and own it and even then, when I had my first girlfriend, uh, I remember me and my mom were having a conversation because they said, we love you, mm-hmm. we're not okay with it, but what can we do? It's your life, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. As if as if that, that wasn't the like, hardest thing. The, 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 the <laughs> conditional <laughs> acceptance. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I remember we were having, uh, we were in the car one time, and so I felt okay that we didn't talk about sexuality because, you know, uh, we never talked about the birds and the bees. We never had any right. conversations. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a Norman Filipino um, conversation. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. But even here, like right. I, I hear a lot of kids when when they when I ask them, did your parents talk about the birds and the bees? Like no, like my parents would think because there's a sexual uh, whatever course inside high school, uh-huh. that's enough. Uh-huh. Right. Right. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. So I guess like even your first sexual lesson. Right. You learn it on your own. Yeah, <laughs> that's I right. learned it on my own. That's right. That's right. You yeah. learn it on your own, or you learn it from school. Yeah. <laughs> do, you wanna, do you want to ask something risque? <laughs> something about so that? You know, like uh, first <laughs> sexual education. Yeah. So, how was your first sexual encounter? But qualify natin ha. Qualify us again. Do you find that? Right, right, right. First, second, third base. Right, 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 right. So, your first sexual encounter or your first sexual experience, you have to tell me what base first. And then you can tell the rest of the story. 